Hey guys and welcome to the video and something else regarding the PS3 where the scene has been kind of busy since the official firmware update. Here today just letting you know that the PS3 Hen has now been officially updated to version 3.0.1. The video I did yesterday showed an unofficial version but this one here 100% official. You can come here. I'm not going to do a tutorial on this because like most of you guys already know how to do the hen thing. I will though go over uh, some information here for those who may have forgotten or may be relatively new. So this is the announcement here. If you want to look at how to install hen, updating hen, things like that, you can come to these tabs. When you click on install, for example, it gives you the uh, installation method. It actually shows a method number three here. However, when you come up here, you'll see that you have this great PS3 hen all in one guide. And when you go there, this is a very detailed guide on how to install and update hen. It also gives you various methods like method one and method two. And I guess method three is on the page. I just showed you over at that tab for those who are new. There's also an alternate method of installing hen. I did a video on it for 485. The steps are still the same, but you would use the 486 files instead of the 485 files. So yeah, I won't be going through a tutorial here because I know most of you know how to do it. However, if you're interested in installing this latest hen in a nice, like fresher, clean way, there is a way to do that without losing anything. Pretty much your backups will still remain. All of your homebrews will still remain and they will be functional. Your game saves will still be there. You know, you're not going to lose anything except maybe your PS3 theme might go back to stock and maybe your profile pick might go back to stock, which you guys can always just set those again. But that's pretty much it. Everything will remain and you can get a nice cleaner install. It's pretty much the same method that I showed people in yesterday's video on how to do it with the unofficial official updated version of Hen, but basically making a long story short, you would need to grab the latest 486 OFW and install it. I'll put a link to this page and a direct download link to the file, which is located here. You'll have to install that using a FAT32 USB. The instructions are actually listed here, so you follow these instructions and install it. Once it's installed, then you will install uh, 486HFW. You can get the file from here. Again, I will put a direct download link to that down in the description. When you download that, you also put it on a FAT32. You basically follow the same instructions here. You install this two times. Once you've installed HFW twice, over 486 OFW, then you can use whatever method you want to install hen, either what's listed here, like in the install setup tab, or one of the methods listed in the guide here, or that 485 alternative method video that I did. Again, it will still work the same way. You just grab the 486 files instead of the 485 ones, and it will work exactly the same way. So you can install it however you like. And when you do that, you'll have a nice, fresher, cleaner install of this latest hen. And all of your homebrews that you already had installed will still be there and will still function. And all of your backed up games and all of your saves and your profile, all of that will still be there, except maybe some minor stuff. Like again, your theme might change and just go back to stock, little things like that. But all of the good stuff will remain and you won't to be you know deleting it because we're not doing a restore you're just installing firmware and before i go over the past several months maybe a year or so i've had a bunch of people ask me down in the comments if i can make a video tutorial or if i have one showing on how to install hen or the various methods of installing hen like the ones listed here in this guide and i honestly haven't done it because there are so many hen tutorials out there and a lot of them are decent or very good so i never really found the need to do it i did do the alternative method because that one wasn't explored all that much and the few videos i saw out there i wasn't really happy with them so that's why i did my own so what i've been thinking about doing is maybe something different where i can show you how to 
host the files yourself, either on your phone, on a PC, maybe on a little uh, mini Arduino board, which some of us PS4 users use. Uh, those of us who are on 505 to host files like various exploits and payloads and things like that on the little board. They're very inexpensive. They're like five to seven bucks. Um, and yeah, it's easy to uh, load them up with pretty much whatever you want. And it would work for PS3 Hen as well. So if you're interested in something like that, maybe let me know in the comments or just hit the like button. Uh, that's the best way as well. And that will do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, you know, I appreciate you. If you found anything here informative, useful, helpful in any way, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you know that the best way to do any of those things is just to squish the F out of that like button. Much love going out to everyone. Be careful out there, guys, but be safe. Make sure to have fun and we will see you on the next one.